José Manuel Ramos Horta Portuguese pronunciation, UZ Mus T, born 26 December 1949 is an East Timorese politician who was the President of East Timor from 20 May 2007 to 20 May 2012. Previously he was Minister of Foreign Affairs from 2002 to 2006 and Prime Minister from 2006 to 2007. He is a co-recipient of the 1996 Nobel Peace Prize. As a founder and former member of Fretilin, Ramos Horta served as the exiled spokesman for the East Timorese resistance during the years of the Indonesian occupation of East Timor While he continued to work with Fretilin, Ramos Horta resigned from the party in 1988, becoming an independent politician. After East Timor achieved independence in 2002, Ramos Horta was appointed as the country's first foreign minister. He served in this position until his resignation on 25 June 2006, amidst political turmoil. On 26 June, following the resignation of Prime Minister Mari Alkatiri, Ramos Horta was appointed as acting Prime Minister by President Zanana Guzmao. Two weeks later, on 10 July 2006, he was sworn in as the second Prime Minister of East Timor. He was elected as President in 2007. On the 11th of February 2008, Ramos Horta was shot during an assassination attempt. After leaving office as president in 2012, Ramos Horta was appointed as the United Nations Special Representative and head of the United Nations Integrated Peacebuilding Office in Guinea-Bissau on 2 January 2013. Early history and family Of Mestico ethnicity, Ramos Horta was born in 1949 in Dili, capital of East Timor, to a Timorese mother and a Portuguese father who had been exiled to what was then Portuguese Timor by the Salazar dictatorship. He was educated in a Catholic mission in the small village of Soibada, later chosen by Fretilin as headquarters after the Indonesian invasion. Of his eleven brothers and sisters, four were killed by the Indonesian military. Ramos Horta studied public international law at the Hague Academy of International Law 1983 and at Antioch College in Yellow Springs, Ohio where he completed a Master of Arts degree in Peace Studies 1984. He was trained in human rights law at the International Institute of Human Rights in Strasbourg 1983. He completed postgraduate courses in American foreign policy at Columbia University in New York 1983. He is a senior associate member of the University of Oxford Street Antony's College 1987 and speaks fluently in five languages, Portuguese, plus English, French, Spanish and the most commonly spoken East Timorese language, Tidum. He is divorced from Ana Pessoa Pinto, East Timor's Minister for State and Internal Administration, with whom he has a son, Loro Horta, born in exile in Mozambique. <laughs> Political career He was actively involved in the development of political awareness in Portuguese Timor, which caused him to be exiled for two years in 1970–71 to Portuguese East Africa. His grandfather, before him, had also been exiled, from Portugal to the Azores Islands, then Cape Verde, Portuguese Guinea and finally to Portuguese Timor. A moderate in the emerging Timorese nationalist leadership, he was appointed foreign minister in the "'Democratic Republic of East Timor." Government proclaimed by the pro-independence parties in November 1975. When appointed minister, Ramos Horta was only 25 years old. Ramos Horta left East Timor three days before the Indonesian troops invaded to plead the Timorese case before the UN. Ramos Horta arrived in New York to address the UN Security Council and urge them to take action in the face of the Indonesian occupation during which an estimated 102,000 East Timorese would die. Ramos Horta was the permanent representative of Fretilin to the UN for the next ten years. His friends at that time mentioned that he arrived in the United States with a total of $25 in his pocket. His pecuniary situation was often straitened in that period, he survived partly by grace of Americans who admired his politics and his determination. Further, he was obliged to travel worldwide to explain his party's position. In 1993, the Rafto Prize was awarded to the people of East Timor. Foreign Minister in exile Ramos Horta represented his nation at the prize ceremony. 
In May 1994, Philippine President Fidel Ramos no relation, bowing to pressure from Jakarta, tried to ban an international conference on East Timor in Manila and blacklisted Ramos Horta, with the Thai government following suit later that year by declaring him persona non grata. In December 1996, Ramos Horta shared the Nobel Peace Prize with fellow Timorese, Bishop Ximenez Bello. The Nobel Committee chose to honor the two laureates for their sustained efforts to hinder the oppression of a small people hoping that, "...this award will spur efforts to find a diplomatic solution to the conflict of East Timor based on the people's right to self-determination." The committee considered Ramos Horta, "...the leading international spokesman for East Timor's cause since 1975." Ramos Horta played a leading role in negotiating the institutional foundations for independence. He led the Timorese delegation at an important joint workshop with UNTAET on 1 March 2000 to tease out a new strategy, and identify institutional needs. The outcome was an agreed blueprint for a joint administration with executive powers, including leaders of the National Congress for Timorese Reconstruction Further details were worked out in a conference in May 2000. The special representative of the UN Secretary General in East Timor, Sergio Vieira de Mello, presented the new blueprint to a donor conference in Lisbon on the 22nd of June 2000 and to the UN Security Council on the 27th of June 2000. On the 12th of July 2000, the NCC adopted a regulation establishing a transitional cabinet composed of four East Timorese and four UNTAET representatives. The revamped joint administration successfully laid the institutional foundations for independence, and on 27 September 2002, East Timor joined the United Nations. Ramos Horta was its first foreign minister. On 3 June 2006, Ramos Horta added the post of Interim Minister of Defense to his portfolio as foreign minister, in the wake of the resignations of the previous minister. He resigned as both Foreign and Defense Minister on 25 June 2006, announcing, "...I do not wish to be associated with the present government or with any government involving al -Qatiri. Prime Minister al khatiri had been under pressure to resign his position in place of President Zanana Guzmao, but in a 25 June meeting, leaders of the Fretilin party agreed to keep al khatiri as Prime Minister. Ramos Horta resigned immediately following this decision. Foreign Minister of Australia Alexander Downer expressed his personal disappointment at Ramos Horta's resignation. Following al resignation on 26 June, Ramos Horta withdrew his resignation to contest the Prime Ministership and served in the position on a temporary basis until a successor to al was named. On 8 July 2006, Ramos Horta himself was appointed Prime Minister by President Guzmao. He was sworn in on 10 July. Before his appointment as Prime Minister, Ramos Horta was considered a possible candidate to succeed Kofi Annan as United Nations Secretary General. He dropped out of the race in order to serve as East Timor's Prime Minister, but he has indicated that he might run for the UN position at some time in the future. I can wait five years if I am really interested in the job in 2012. I would be interested in that. In an interview with Al Jazeera broadcast on of February 2007, Ramos Horta said that he would run for president in the April 2007 election. On 25 February 2007, Ramos Horta formally announced his candidacy. He received the support of Guzmao, who was not running for re-election. In an interview with Global South Development magazine, Ramos Horta revealed that Mahatma Gandhi was his greatest hero. In the first round of the election, held on the 9th of April, Ramos Horta took second place with 21.81% of the vote. He and Fredolin candidate Francisco Gutierrez, who took first place, then participated in the second round of the election in May. The full results of the runoff elections were made public by East Timor's National Electoral Committee spokeswoman, Maria Angelina Sarmento, on the 11th of May, and Ramos Horta won with 69% of the vote. He was inaugurated as President of East Timor in a ceremony at the Parliament House in Dili on 20 May 2007. He had resigned as Prime Minister the day before and was succeeded by Estanislao da Silva. During the first round of the presidential elections of 2012, held on 17 March, Ramos Horta, who was eligible for a second and final term as president, took third place with 19.43% of the vote behind the presidential candidates Francisco Gutierrez with 27.28% and Tor Matan Ruik 24.17% of the vote. 
He admitted defeat, and his term as president ended on 19 May, with the inauguration of Tor Matan Ruik as his successor. Assassination attempt On the 11th of February 2008, José Ramos Horta was shot in an assassination attempt. In the gun skirmish, one of Ramos Horta's guards was wounded, and two rebel soldiers, including rebel leader Alfredo Reynado, were killed. Ramos Horta was treated at a New Zealand military base in Dili before being transferred to the Royal Darwin Hospital in Australia for further treatment. Doctors thought that he had been shot two or three times with the most serious injury being to his right lung. His condition was listed as critical but stable. He was placed in an induced coma on full life support, and regained consciousness on 21 February. A message from Ramos Horta, still recovering in Darwin, was broadcast on 12 March. In this message, he thanked his supporters in Australia and said that he had been very well looked after. A spokesman said that his condition was improving and that he had started taking short daily walks for exercise. Ramos Horta was released from the Royal Darwin Hospital on the 19th of March, although he said that he would stay in Australia for physical therapy for a few more weeks. He also said on this occasion that he had remained conscious following the shooting and remember Ed every detail, describing how he was taken for treatment. On the 17th of April, Ramos Horta returned to Dili from Darwin. He gave a press conference at the airport in which he urged the remaining rebels in the mountains to surrender. Post-presidency Following the 2012 Guinea-Bissau coup d'état, he offered to mediate the conflict. As of 31 January 2013 he is the UN Special Envoy to the country, he is the author of the book Words of Hope in Troubled Times. Other activities Ramos Horta is a frequent speaker, along with other Nobel Peace Prize laureates, at PeaceJam conferences. He has served as chairman of the advisory board for thecommunity.com, a web site for peace and human rights, since 2000. In 2001 he gathered the post-9-11 statements of 28 Nobel Peace Prize laureates on the web site, and has spearheaded other peace initiatives with his fellow Nobel laureates. Ramos Horta supported the U.S. invasion and occupation of Iraq and condemned the anti-American tone of its detractors as «hypocritical». In the 1990s he had supported the cause of Kurdish people in Iraq. In May 2009 Ramos Horta stated that he would ask the International Criminal Court to investigate the ruling junta of Myanmar if they continue to detain fellow Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi. However, by August 2010, he had softened his views on Myanmar, warmly receiving the Myanmar Foreign Minister Nguyen Nguyen, and said that he wanted to improve relations and seek strong commercial ties with Myanmar. Ramos Horta is an early signatory of the International Simultaneous Policy which seeks to end the usual deadlock in tackling global issues. Lucas became a signatory in 2006. On the 5th of August 2009, he attended the funeral of the former president of the Philippines, Corazon Aquino. He was the only foreign head of state to attend. On the 30th of June 2010, he attended the inauguration of Benigno S. Aquino III, the 15th president of the Philippines. He was again the only head of state who attended the inauguration and the first dignitary to arrive in the Philippines for the inauguration. The two attendances effectively solidified East Timorese Filipino diplomatic relations, to an extent where Filipino support for East Timorese ascension to ASEAN favorably increased. Ramos Horta is a member of the Global Leadership Foundation, an organization which works to support democratic leadership, prevent and resolve conflict through mediation, and promote good governance in the form of democratic institutions, open markets, human rights, and the rule of law. It does so by making available, discreetly and in confidence, the experience of former leaders to today's national leaders. It is a not-for-profit organization composed of former heads of government, senior governmental and international organization officials who work closely with heads of government on governance-related issues of concern to them. In August 2017, ten Nobel Peace Prize laureates, including Ramos Horta, urged Saudi Arabia to stop the executions of 14 young people for participating in the 2011–12 Saudi Arabian protests. Awards Nobel Prize 
The Roman Catholic priest Carlos Bello of East Timor and Ramos Horta were jointly awarded the 1996 Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts. Honours Grand Cross of the Order of Liberty, Portugal June 9, 1998. Grand Collar of the Order of Prince Henry, Portugal November 13, 2007. Honorary Companion of the Order of Australia, Australia November 25, 2013, for eminent service to strengthening Australia and Timor-Leste bilateral relations and for his outstanding leadership to bring independence to Timor-Leste. Conferred an honorary doctorate in political science by the University of Cambodia 2010. Topic: Depictions in fiction. The 2000 documentary The Diplomat, directed by Tom Zubricki, follows Ramos Horta in the period from 1998 to his return to East Timor in 2000. Ramos Horta is played by Oscar Isaac in the 2009 film Balibo. The film tells the story of the Balibo Five and the events preceding the Indonesian occupation of East Timor. See also East Timorese presidential election 2007. East Timorese presidential election 2012. References Topic. External links Ramos Horta's website Nobel Prize biography On José Ramos Horta from the PeaceJam Foundation Who will be the next UN Secretary General? Australian Television Interview Transcript 2004. Home video of José Ramos Horta visiting APEC meeting in New Zealand, in 1999 to speak to Clinton on YouTube Clinton is credited with getting the peacekeepers into East Timor. João Vigas Carrascalao was present also. Video by Jerry Hill of Great Ponsonby Art Hotel where Horta stayed. José Ramos Horta Freedom Collection interview